there are certainly elements of exaggeration in current discussions within the United States. There is no plausible argument that if China had exceeded to every trade demand the United States had made, that U.S. GDP would be more than 1% higher today. The dominant reason for U.S. economic failures is U.S. economic decisions. It is not what has taken place in Beijing. It is not accurate to assert that China is the primary cause of deindustrialization of the American uh, economy. Calculations such as the celebrated ones of David Autor and his colleagues uh, regarding the so-called China shock are manifestly incomplete. They take account of extra imports. They do not take account of extra exports. They do not take account of the benefit of lower priced imports as inputs to subsequent American exports. They do not take account of the lower interest rates and associated economic stimulus that comes when there is induced slack in the economy. They do not take account of the higher real incomes which permit increased spending as a consequence of lower prices because of the benefit of uh, imports. It is not an analytically accurate statement to say that China is the primary cause of economic uh, suffering in uh, the uh, Midwest. Nor is it likely analytically accurate to suppose that theft of intellectual property, as serious a problem as it is, and forced joint venturing as serious as a problem as it is, is the primary reason for Chinese technological progress. The truth is that information is widely available in the modern world. The United States, when atomic weapons were our single most sensitive national secret, were only able to maintain a three-year lead over the Soviet Union at a time when there was almost no interconnection between the United States and the Soviet Union, at a time when nuclear weapons technology required sophisticated manufacturing capacity, and at a time when there was no publication of results having anything to do with it in any open scientific journal. It is hard to imagine the feasibility of maintaining substantial leadership through secrecy or remaining uh, closed uh, in areas like <coughs> artificial intelligence or uh, in uh, biotechnology. Uh, and so it is right to question some, some significant part of what is attacked in terms of Chinese uh, practice. And if America's policies were to strengthen the hand 
of those least committed to economic reform, strengthen the hand of those least committed to political opening and most resistant to political opening, and to confirm the fears of those in China most hostile to uh, the United States, we run the risk of self-fulfilling uh, prophecy and bring about, and might bring about, the very conflicts and strains that they were seeking uh, to prevent.